four years. I, I honestly cannot believe that it's been four years since I started this YouTube channel and started just rambling on camera. And we've done so much, we've done so much. Uh, I don't even know if I'm really gonna edit this much. I'm probably just gonna film it and upload it, to be honest. Um, I just wanna start this off by saying thank you. Uh, it, whether you watched one video, whether you watched two, whether you've been around since the first few weeks, the first few months, the first year, year two, year three, maybe you just hopped on recently. Thank you, thank you so much for continually pushing me on. I've said it before in other videos and I've said it before in other posts. You guys are what keeps me going. You know, uh, I, I love doing this, but I won't lie. It's been a discouraging ride, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that here. I'm not going to get too deep into it. Uh, I do want to tell you now that similar to last year where I did a thank you video to you guys, but also followed that up by doing a reaction video to my first ever video and a reaction video to my first ever uh, movie review, which were separate videos. Uh, I figured, hey, that was a cool, fun way to kind of celebrate three years. And so similarly, this week, I will be doing uh, two more videos, I'm hoping, or within the next, maybe let's say within the next two weeks, if all works out. Um, I'm going to do two videos here on the channel that I've been wanting to do for quite some time that I feel will be good ways to kind of, um, you know, just celebrate four years here on the platform. And the first one I'm going to do is just going to be me uh, as me talking about the biggest inspirations for me jumping into YouTube. I'm going to talk about all the various YouTubers that were core to me, you know, creating what I create here on the channel and inspired me the most to turn the camera on to talk about movies and just, you know, try to do YouTube. So we're going to do that video. And then on top of that, I do want to do a live stream soon with a couple of my peers here from YouTube. Something I've been trying to set up for a few months, but I just haven't had the mental energy to do. And that is uh, talking about the discouragements and the disappointments of YouTube. And uh, we're going to get vulnerable. We're going to get real. I've already reached out to a few uh, YouTube peers, that many of which you may know and uh, ask them, hey, listen, I've talked to you a lot about my YouTube discouragement and my depression around YouTube at times, um, and I would love for you to be on. Uh, and I think that everybody that I'm gonna have on will bring different insight, different positivity, different uh, negativity, different outlooks, different perspectives, um, and have gone through different uh, levels of the discouragement and the disappointment. Um, and some people handle it really well, and some people don't handle it very well. And um, I I'll be honest, this, has been a crazy experience the last four years. Uh, you know, I've changed so much since the very start, but YouTube itself, you know, devoting so much time to the craft of doing YouTube and becoming comfortable in, in front of a camera like this um, is something weird. People don't realize, you know, they think, oh, you can just turn the camera on and just talk to it. And a lot of people can, if you have the kind of charisma or personality to, you know, kind of just do this, a lot of people can do it, but it is something that you kind of have to build up to. It is something that you have to start getting comfortable with and something that as you're doing it, you notice a, a change in yourself and your comfort, you know? And, and so for me, when, when it comes to YouTube, it's been interesting to see how I've molded and how I've changed over the years and what I've learned and, and how I've adapted that into what I actually do and, you know, what I've taken out of my content and what I've brought into my content. And it's just crazy to see how much has changed. Uh, but yeah, you know, I won't lie to you guys. This has been a bumpy road mentally and I, I think a lot of that has been really interesting for me to kind of dissect within myself within the last I'll say two years I, I touched briefly about it um I was about to say I talked briefly about it and I said touched and talked at the same time I don't know if you guys caught that that was weird um I talked briefly about it in my video that I did last year that you know there's discouragements and there's disappointments but I moved on from it really briefly and I wanted to use this year's to be really just straight up with you guys about the fact that YouTube for me in the last two years has been such a mixed bag of loving this so much, having a passion and an energy to, you know, sit here and talk about movies endlessly week after week, month after month, you know, day after day at times, you know, I'm always thinking about the next video. I'm always thinking about various collabs and series that I'm working on. And what's the next movie I'm going to watch. Let me make sure I try to keep up with the screeners that I'm sent to check out a little bit early. Those things can help the channel out. So my mind is always thinking about YouTube, almost like another job. But I don't think about it like a job because I love it so much. But I won't lie when I say that four years later, I'm not where I wanted to be on this platform. And I know saying that also is something that I need to recognize to be grateful for because the reality of the situation is there are a lot of people who have been on this platform longer than me who haven't made it as far as I have. And 
in their perspective, they think I'm doing good and I, I can't take that away from them. But what I will say is, you know, we all have our own personal goals and hopes for where we can kind of, you know, things that we can kind of attain and, and reach. And I won't lie when I say that this has been a really weird road for me because the YouTube goes like this, man. It's so just crazy. There's no real rhyme or reason for why certain things work. You know, there are times where you might hit something that was trendy and you just got lucky and it pops off. But then there was times like my first ever video to break out, which is still my most viewed video on my channel, which is the passion of the Christ. And that video literally just sat at like 89, like 90 something views for months after I uploaded it, just like in the, you know, like high 90s at, at a certain point, just sitting there. And then Easter of that year, which was, this was within the first year of me posting on YouTube, Easter of that year, it just popped off, like blew up. And then rolling into the next Christmas and the next Easter, it was still popping off to the point where it ended up capping around like 46, 47,000 views. And I, it hasn't really grown much since, it stayed stagnant there. And it's been really weird to see which videos have grown over time. Maybe it was like a niche topic that I kind of just hit on. Maybe it was something that, you know, was topical to the moment that maybe got a few hundred views or, uh, you know, a thousand views in a short burst of time. Uh, some of it was growing over the course of years. It's so weird. But then some of them would stay stagnant at like 20, 30 views. So YouTube has been this up and down ride. But when I started, right, I was very grateful to have a lot of friends and friends of friends and family of friends and family come together to support me and my YouTube channel grew in subscribers and views pretty quickly. And I think in a way I kind of got spoiled by that because as I started to have to really define who I was on this platform and start to bring in viewers who didn't know me personally and were coming to my content because they just enjoy what I do without knowing me outside of this camera. Um, I realized that this was going to be a lot harder than I thought and I, I did have, you know, a good little phase at the beginning where I was going up and of course how YouTube works with the algorithm, the more views I was getting, you know, and I was smaller scale so I was accepting smaller numbers with like a big smile and, you know, as I was doing well with people who were watching, it just continued to grow at a decent pace. And then there was a certain point, I'll, I'll never forget it, I uploaded the video for the first 10 seasons of Bob's Burgers and uh, my AC just turned on so I do apologize if you guys hear that. And uh, yeah, I, I uploaded um, my, my my video for the first 10, uh, whatever, seasons of Bob's Burgers. And that was an interesting one for me because it was the first video that like just went to like 20, 30 views and just slammed. I mean, stayed right there. I think the video still has like 30 something views to this day. And after that, I just watched the most intense, steep decline of my content views that I had had. And I spent the whole of the second half of my uh, third year just in a really bad mental place. And there's a lot of my YouTube peers who are probably watching this who got a lot of messages from me and just a lot of negative stuff that I was talking to them about and wanting to quit. And I won't lie to you, this has been the most insane journey of my life because I love doing YouTube. I love sitting here talking to you guys. You know, I love turning this camera on. Right now, we're on one take here. I, I haven't paused. You know, I made a couple of mistakes, but I'm just going, you know, and I feel like when I started, I couldn't do this. I couldn't just riff off the top of my head and just talk this long with no problem. And, and it just grows to show for me how, how much I've grown, how much more comfortable I've gotten in front of the camera, um, how much has changed. But I also wanted to be real with you guys. I wanted to use this video not only to say a big fucking thank you to each and every single one of you guys for supporting this channel, but also recognize that, you know, this has been an up and down battle for me. And a lot of it has been me kind of having to battle my own expectations of where my channel can be, what I want it to be. I think it's important to set goals, but I've had to really battle that part of me that feels like maybe I'm not succeeding because I'm not where I want to be, you know, but listen, I'm currently sitting at the channel at like 1600 subscribers. Um, a lot of my videos recently have been doing fairly well. You know, my Halloween ends video not too long ago got like a thousand views randomly. A lot of my recent videos have been gaining, you know, at least a hundred or more, a couple hundred views uh, after a few days or so. Maybe not the most recent videos, but they've been slowly growing. And I'm trying to hold on to the little wins. And I'm using this video to uh, just say a big thanks to you guys, but I also just wanted to be real and vulnerable with you. I, I could just be, use this as another chance to go, well, thanks for watching the channel, everybody. You're great pals, and I just can't wait for you guys to stick around for the next installment of Anthony A. Perret. Nobody needs all that shit, right? Like, nobody needs that, nobody wants that. At the end of the day, I just wanted to take this moment to say, say thank you, you know, genuinely, but also to just be vulnerable and real with you guys and let you know that, man, like I just, I've been mentally challenged in a way by this uh 
by this by this whole experience of YouTube. There is a huge part of me that loves it so much, and there's a huge part of me that sometimes wants to quit. I would say on a weekly basis, I think about giving up at least three or four times, if not more. And I hate feeling that way, right? But I feel like I don't really voice it here on the channel. I might voice it to some people that I know. Uh, I may voice it to my fiance. I might, you know, voice, voice it to some friends in passing. Ah, oh, I think I'm gonna quit that YouTube thing. It's not really serving me anymore. Oh, I don't really feel like I'm growing. Nobody cares about my videos. You know, all this kind of stuff. All that negative stuff that we tend to spew when we're in depression. Um, but you know, I wanted to take a chance here this time around and just change up this anniversary video and not just say thank you, but also let you guys in a little bit on what it's been like for me behind the camera. You know, so uh, a big thanks to you guys genuinely for watching all the videos that you do. And if you watch this video to this point, thank you as well. I, I genuinely appreciate it. You know, I, I'm trying to grow as a person. 2022 has been a, a taxing year for me, to be honest. Uh, I just feel like there's been some great things for sure. A lot of great movies, a lot of great memories, a lot of great memories personally with my, my friends and my family. Um, you know, I got to go to Star Wars Celebration earlier this year. Shout out to my mom who made that possible. Um, but, you know, there's also been a lot of things that have happened in my life that have just been rough in the last year. And just in recent, you know, memory you know my, my dog passed away my dog of nearly 13 years in my life um I, I made a video on that and i talked about it in some of those videos i took a little break from youtube through that and it's now just been you know it's about to be in in, in, probably in like another week and maybe like another two weeks it's about to be two months since he passed so um it, that's something that i'm still dealing with here too and, and it just feels like life has just been weighing down on me last night i got home and found that my TV that we just got, a 4K TV that we just got a little over a year ago that only had a year warranty <laughs> broke and so like it just wouldn't turn on. We tried all the troubleshooting stuff and it was a hardware issue it turns out and we had to get a new one. There's just all these little things that have just been going wrong this year and that's a s small one in comparison to just saying that my dog passed but you know I wanted to just take this video, this opportunity to say not only thank you but here let me let me give you guys a little piece of what the inside is so it's not just me going well you know today we're talking about SpongeBob SquarePants. That's great, and I'm sure you guys enjoy that stuff. And don't worry, eventually, SpongeBob videos are coming to the channel. That is something I'm planning for 2023. But I wanted to just take this moment genuinely to say thank you to you guys and just let you guys in behind the curtain for a moment and just realize, hey, listen, if you do YouTube, the reality is if you're watching this and you do YouTube, you probably feel like me. And the more I've talked to other YouTube peers, discouragement on YouTube is very common. Some people handle it really well. Some people really don't care about the views and genuinely, I envy that beyond belief. Me on the other hand, I'm not gonna lie, I do care about the views. Is it everything for me on YouTube? No, but I genuinely want to make this a thing. I have a heart and a passion to make this a thing, which is why I haven't stopped. That's the craziest part. I've been wildly depressed about YouTube on so many occasions, sending ranting messages to my YouTube peers about how I'm done, I'm finished, I'm a has-been, <laughs> nobody likes me. And ultimately, I just keep pushing and grinding to that next video. And then in between those next videos, I might be a, a, a mental wreck. And I might just be thinking the worst of myself and my channel. But then I just make sure that I get that next video out, you know. And uh, even recently, in the last week, I've just not been in the best mental state at times. But here I am. I, I wanted to make this video because I, I love this channel. I love what I've built. And I just want to feel more pride in my channel i guess i guess i feel sometimes a sense of shame because it's not where i want it to be not because i feel ashamed in the content itself but maybe because i feel the sense of shame that it's just not what i want it to be but then i have to realize again that there are people who would love to be at least where i'm at on youtube and, and i just try to keep that in mind and so you know that's why i'm talking this out here on camera because i feel like it helps me rationalize things and put myself into a better place and i feel like it's kind of good to get it off my chest and um, again, I, I just wanted, I want this channel to be more than just Ant, this guy that talks about movies. Because that's what it's going to be. I'm going to talk about movies. It's what I love to do. If you're subscribed here, don't worry. Those, uh, that element of my channel is not going anywhere. You know, that I love movies and I'm going to continue to talk movies. Uh, but I want this to also be something that, like many of the other channels that I watch, where you have or just a real genuine person on the other side who just so happens to talk about movies and you almost start to just enjoy that person for who they are versus you know just their opinions on movies and that's not to say that i hope you like me but it's just more the mentality that i want you guys to be able to see me more for who i am rather than the dude that just goes well, what's going on everybody welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about 
or whatever the hell we're talking about, you know? Anyway, I, I just wanted to use this video to get real with you guys uh, about some things that have been going on behind the scenes. I know I've said that a few times, but I just want to say, again, a big thanks to you, to you guys, man. It's four years, genuinely, four years. And I know that there's going to be a lot of you guys that show out in this video and, and, and come out and, and give me some love and, and, you know, hit that like button and comment and leave your thoughts. And I'm going to leave. I, I, here's the best part. I guess the part I'm the most grateful about is I already know uploading this video whether you're one of my YouTube peers or you're one of my consistent viewers, that there are going to be some kind souls in the comments here. You know, they're probably there'll be haters like there always are, you know, but I already know that there are going to be people who comment and that, that I just love to see comment on my videos who truly support me. And I just want to say thank you to all of you genuinely who have stopped by this channel, who have supported this channel to some degree, who have subscribed to this channel, who have you know, giving me any degree of love or kindness on this platform, who in, have invited me onto their shows, onto their live streams, onto their reviews, whatever the case may be, I have an abundance of friends and people that I've made here on the platform that have accepted me and honestly given me a community to talk movies again. You know, I felt like for a period of time, and, I, and I'll end this video here because I didn't expect this to go this long, but for a period of time, the reason I started my YouTube channel was to find a sense of community. And I think because I found that community, my purpose with YouTube was no longer in that direction anymore. It was a situation where I needed to, you know, find a new purpose for my YouTube channel. And for me, I wanted to get to the place of monetization. I want to get to the place of being able to do this more. If I could do this full time or even just as a more consistent hobby, I would genuinely, genuinely love that more than anything, to be honest, in, in terms of like following some sort of dream right now. And so, yeah, you know, I'm just grateful to you guys, you know, for, for watching. I'm just grateful for, for anybody who stuck around from the beginning and literally could have just jumped on. Um, yeah, you know, thank you guys so much. I know I've been rambling and hopefully this has all been coherent to some degree. Um, but I just want to say, again, a big thanks to you guys for watching. A big thanks to you guys for subscribing. And uh, yeah, you guys can look out to the for those videos that I mentioned, those anniversary videos. I'm going to do the one about all the YouTubers that inspired me, um, as well as the video uh, talking a lot more about this, dis this discouragement and the disappointments and the downside of doing YouTube. And I'm going to do that as a live stream with a couple of my YouTube peers so we can all get real about how this really does affect us at times uh, when you're creating content that you just would love to have more people you know, appreciate. So uh, a big thanks to you guys for watching. Please hit that like button if you guys enjoy the video. But more importantly, stick around. There's a lot more content to come. And I hope that you're still here when I'm talking about being on this platform for five years, which just blows my mind to even think that that's that's next. That is next five years, half a decade. Ugh. I hope I have more to say for it by the time I get there or I have more to show for it is what I should say. Um, at least that's how I feel. But uh, a big thanks to you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.